Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. So today, let's explore how to create recurring invoice for customers. So it's basically creating a template which will help you to generate recurring invoices for customers. So let's understand the different steps that's involved. So step one is where we create a template. So this template, you can define your method of payment, your terms of payment, your financial dimensions, what accounts can be used. So we default all the values and that can be connected with your customer master data. So let's create step one. So go to system. First, which, how to create a template. So go to modules, accounts receivable, invoice, recurring invoice, click on free text invoice templates. This is a place where we create a template for our recurring invoice. So click new to create a new template. So let's give the template name, let's say monthly recurring income. So let me give you a description, monthly recurring income. So once you give the name and the description, as I explained, your uh, payment default can be done at the uh, template level or this data can be taken from the master data level uh, which I'll explain in a while. So you can you know use your terms of payment, method of payment. You can also default a financial dimensions. Uh, very importantly select a main account that should be offsetted against the customer. So let me select an income account. Let's say miscellaneous income. So you can fill the description. So let's say monthly recurring invoice so that's the description you can also fill the tax details again tax details can be taken from the templates or can be defaulted at customer master data so you can enter the quantity if the quantity is there if not we can directly enter the amount let's say 5000 click save this is how we create a free text invoice templates once this template is connected with customers we can see the customer details here in assigned customers. So right now, if you see here, it is blank. That means this template is not connected with any customers. So let's go for second step after creating this template. Step two will be assigning the template with customer master data. So let's assign or connect my template, which we created in step one with customers. So that's done at the customer master data. So let's go for step two. So go to system, go to accounts receivable, customers, all customers. So let's go to all customers. So select the customers for whom the template should be connected with. Go to invoice on the first tab, click on recurring invoices. So this is where your step one, that's the template will be connected, sorry here, the template will be connected to a specific customers. So let's go to the uh, customer master data, click new. Now, whenever you need an invoice to be generated, the active status should be yes. Now here, select the template that should be connected with this customer. So this is the template that we created in step one, MRI. So I'm connecting my template here. Next, billing start date. So when do you want to start generating this invoice? Let's say month end, so I'm picking today's date. So today is the date where I want to start my billing. Now, recurrence setup. In case if there is no end date, you can select as no end date and the system keeps generating as and when you generate it. Or if there's a specific day that you want to end, for example, three months, four months, or six months, then you can select bill end date and enter the date. So here as an example, let's take three months. So like March, April, May. So let's select May as the end date. So let me take May 28. Now, there is a field called as maximum cumulative amount. So when you select or enter this amount here, system will either end by the selected date or by the maximum amount that will be accumulated. Example, let's say we have entered 5,000 as the amount here. 
in case if I enter cumulative amount allowed as 10,000 so two invoices together is 10,000 my end date is May but since my maximum allowed amount is 10,000 system will generate only two invoices so that's about maximum cumulative amount field next if you want to use your uh, default data like the method of payment terms of payment to be picked from free text invoice template so whatever uh, you know data we default here it could be your payment details it could be financial uh, you know dimension details system is going to pick from the template or you can select customer account if you select customer account whatever is defaulted in the customer master data with respect to the terms of payment method of payment your delivery due uh, even the uh, financial dimensions even the tax details will be picked from customer master data so it depends what field we select here recurrence pattern how do you how often do you want to post an invoice so here i selected three months now do i need to post on a daily basis weekly basis monthly basis so let's take monthly as an example then i need one invoice per month so you can also select if you need multiple invoices within a month you can select that particular amount here so this is how step two is created so these are the two steps that's required to generate a recurring invoice so once this two step is done the step three would be to generate invoice now while generating invoice you can directly post or you can generate verify and post at a later stage so both the options are available so let's see how we can generate a free text invoice or a recurring free text invoice so go to system modules accounts receivable invoice recurring invoice click on generate recurring invoice so when we come to generate recurring invoice what should be the invoice date that's required let's say i need on 28th so if i generation date so this depends or demands how many invoices that will be generated for example my end date is may so i want to generate an invoice till may so let's say i will select may 28 so april march april may so i have selected date for three months and my allowed or my end date of recurring invoice is three months therefore system is going to generate three invoices so select the template that should be applied so this is what we created in step one so i'm going to connect that template here click select so template is there date is ready now click on ok so once it's generated you can see in the notification center there's a message telling uh, you know the recurring invoices was created successfully so once the invoices are created successfully go to accounts receivable invoice recurring invoice click on post recurring invoices so here we can see the invoices being generated so to see how many invoices being generated click on totals so here we can see number of invoice generated three why was it generated three invoices because i selected generate date as may 28 in case if i had selected april 28 it would have generated two invoices if i had given march 28 it would have generated one invoice so that's how generation date plays a role so once you verify these details close this now we are ready to push uh, this particular transaction so click on post to post all the three invoices so click post you can see the post free text invoice job is added to batch queue once the batch queue is ended the invoices will be posted so let's also verify from our customer master data so go to customers all customers so go to invoice or let's go for transaction so go to customer click on transactions so here you can see this is the free or three invoices that is generated for free text we just created the template connected with the customer and we generated for three months and all three months invoice has been generated and posted so similarly a recurring invoice can be done semi-annually or annually depending upon the customer requirement that's about this video thank you